What you can see here is the um, IATEFL Adobe web conferencing room, uh, which has been set up for a weekend workshop, uh, a BZIG weekend workshop with Barry Tomalin. And the, uh, the room has been set up uh, at the moment uh, with this particular layout. Now one of the advantages of Adobe is that you can pre-upload um, all the material that you want to use for a particular event. So this particular uh, room has been prepared. Uh, the event is, in, uh, is later on today, uh, but in actual fact the, the room was prepared two or three days ago. and. Um, and all the material is there in place ready to use. So for example, you can see that Barry's uh, slides, the slides he wants to use for his workshop, are already in place. Now, um, one advantage of Adobe is that it's very flexible. And one of the things that makes it flexible is the fact that you can uh, create lots of different layouts. Uh, the layout that you can see at the moment we're using uh, as a kind of welcome page. Uh, you, there's a message to people who uh, have visited uh, the room. Uh, they've been directed here perhaps from our, our website. And you can see that it tells them uh, that the meeting will be uh, on Sunday and that if they want to check their local time, there's a link to the world clock there. Somebody has already been in the room and used the chat here uh, and has run a quick test. Um, now, once we get closer to the event itself, we can now switch to other pre-prepared layouts. And you can see here in this menu that uh, we've prepared one, two, three, four, five. Uh, on the day itself, we're a little bit closer to the start of the event. We'll switch to this layout. Uh, you'll see that the chat pod, these are called pods, by the way, uh, are following us. Uh, and you'll see that uh, the attendee list is following us. We've got somebody in the room waiting. Um, and uh, the slides have been replaced by this video. This is a, a trailer that was prepared for uh, the event. I'll just play a little bit of that. The management world is changing quite dramatically. Mm. You are, I would say, an intercultural communications expert. Okay, so that's um, the second welcome layout, if you see. The message has been slightly changed. Um, and Let's now go to the main layout. This is the layout that we'll be using for most of the workshop. The chat is still there. You'll see we haven't lost any of the uh, posts in the chat. The attendee list now uh, gains a little bit more prominence because uh, we're expecting quite a few people for this particular event. Uh, we've also got uh, the note has been changed telling people that uh, the event will be recorded and made available to uh, members. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner we've got uh, the links that um, Barry would like to share with the attendees and if they click on those they can then browse directly to them. Uh, you've got the video pod where Barry will be uh, uh, present uh, sharing his webcam. The slides uh, that Barry can also um, control using these uh, controls here. And down in the bottom right hand corner you've got uh, a handout that he wants to share with everybody uh, which by just clicking on it and clicking on save uh, everybody can download the, that to his or her uh, desktop. Um, so at one some point Barry would like to use a poll so we switch to the poll layout and you'll see that momentarily the uh, chat box has been replaced by a poll uh, so people can then uh, vote 
uh, on whatever question uh, or answer whatever question that's been posed and then once the answers have come in Barry uh, we can then switch back to the main layout and uh, the slides will return to the slides uh, the particular slide uh, that it was at uh, when we moved from uh, this layout to the pole layout. Okay, then the next, uh, later on in the, um, in the workshop, Barry will want to show a video. So again, a layout's been prepared for that. We'll quickly switch to that. The slide's replaced by the video. Barry can then play the video. Action! Action. Okay, and then when the video is finished, people can carry on making comments, react to the video, etc. And uh, we can switch back to the main layout. And the slides should come back. It takes a moment or two to load. Okay, and Barry can then continue with uh, his workshop. Um, now, the advantage of all this is that, as I said before, all the material is there in place, ready to use um, in the different layouts, um, and the transitions uh, as, as the speaker goes through the workshop, um, and you can do the uh, same similar sort of thing from webinars are uh, much smoother the feel the the, the experience is uh, is smoother and uh, generally more professional um, okay so that's a quick rundown really of how to set up the room itself using the different layouts um, hope that